individual hairstyles when somebody looks at the dog or regardless if an expert or just a dog lover his or her vision simultaneously separates the overall dog structure into elements and integrates those elements into creating a whole expression the analyst of the separate elements and their synthetic compose the evaluation of the dog entire appearance the external form of the dog is actually the combination contour of the body under different points of view which are integrated together uh, to form three-dimensional shape the silhouette can be altered using dark coat sometimes those and devotions are significant sometimes not they can be natural or artificially developed calculated or spontaneous even in nature these properties can be a part of the coating function and have positive influence on the dog life erected hair for example cause the dog to look bigger than actually it's during the introduction to another and uh, to one another <coughs> artificial uh, deviations of the dog sh shape made by the groomer can make the dog ugly but if done properly make them look better than they are that is why at competitions the dog judge has to examine the dog's body by uh, hand to be sure that there is no hidden defects under the coat and dog's anatomy, anatomy is correct and thus the correct grooming should improve the dog appearance as such it includes exaggerated desired characteristics and some corrections of the dog proportions it does not matter that in most cases experienced judges may find the real shape of the dog's body they still prefer to see the nice image of the dog artificially good looks of the dog cannot replace its real value but it's a plus in any show at least any uh, judge besides the professional view or at heart is moved by the dog's beauty below we analyze the body elements and show how to support the harmonious and this integration of them in creating a generic impression general impression as it might be done by cryptologists when they develop the portrait of an unknown person from the puzzle face uh, elements the image of the dog can be developed by a groomer by changing the proportions and shapes of the separate elements even as they combine into one moving sculpture of course the colors the brightness of the hair and the texture of the coat are important for evaluating the dog and this characteristics can be improved during the grooming as well for the moment let us omit the size of the dog for in many cases the size is just a matter of scale body parts anatomy of a dog presents in picture 5 ca i'm going to show you a picture in a second one head it's fair to say and that uh, 30 to 40 percent of the impressions of the dog comes from its hat if a uh, hat fits the breed standard everyone will recognize the breed even in the poor representation of the breed type sometimes the hair on the hat plays the key role of its appearance when in some cases owners ask for complete share shave especially on long-haired breeds the result can be quite drastic the image of the dog has absolutely changed once we had to shave the chow chow all over when we finished we got a, a sharp pay instead of chow chow uh, creating a nice interactive hat is one of the most important parts of grooming dog uh, grooming work the hat as of important part of the dog body consists of several elements they are forehead, muzzles, eyes, hair, hair, stop, cheeks, nose, and lips. Uh, browns and mustaches and beard also contribute to the shape of the hat. Eyes. 
Of course, grooming may have nothing to do with the eyes. There are shapes, size, and position of the head, but the product of genitive and can be changed by the haircut. It's um, however the top a priority to keep eyes safe during the grooming procedure. The advantage for not grooming uh, groomers when the, he or she works around the eyes is obvious. Be careful and alert. Use proper tools, for instance, use scissors with around the tips instead of uh, pointy ones. Protect the eyes with a special uh, drops in ointment when you uh, wash uh, the dog. Avoid direct air uh, flow into the eyes when drying the hat. Some customers prefer to keep long eyelashes. Uh, some wants to cut them short. Mostly it's ma uh, made it of the uh, matter of taste and tradition. Long eyelashes make eyes look more human, while shorter ones makes the eyes a more impression more rounded. So check what is preferred in the in particular breed, how you want the eyes to look and what the owner wants. Around the eyes, however, there are areas that certainly need attention. I mean the hair discoloration under the eyes, it may, and in case this is discoloration is a result of permanent tear flow, they are especially unpleasant looking on the white, red, and tan dogs. There are two causes uh, problems that uh, with tears, dust, and problem with the hair irritation of eyes. The eyes. In the first case, it sig signaled that there is a need for veterinarian aid secondary for a groomer. The hair around the eyes have been removed. If it's the second uh, case, it's good idea to ask the owner to come more frequently just to clean this area. Sometimes this procedure is limited to necessity uh, time a period. Puppies of many breeds like Yorkie, Shih Tzu, Poodle, etc. As of age, the two or four months have hair around the eyes that's not that long and to cover the eyes. It's not short enough to stay out of them. To avoid uh, this, uh, there is uh, two choices, regular cut uh, or allowing them to grow longer and keep the eyes uh, clean and numbers uh, daily cleaning. Eye drops, uh, special hair products. Although the position, size and shapes of the eyes can be changed, the correction of the volume of hair around the, uh, may produce a better appearance. Ears. Originally, a wild canine ears were erected uh, triangles on top of it and sides of the uh, head. Uh, wild canines have quite a few variations of such ears. See picture six. I'm gonna show you the, the pictures. It's in the book. Right? Um, due to artificial selection in modern breeds, an ear can uh, vary from strictly errant and, and dropping uh, flat ones. Shape of the ears also varies from uh, small triangles to almost rectangular and even trapezoid. See picture seven. Well, um, yeah, it's an um, American coyote. So, uh, and this picture six is variations of ear uh, shapes, almost wild canines and uh, related uh, genius. And picture five uh, talks about anatomy based on dog's culture, like permanent and change form of dog body and the uh, of the body may be changed by diet and exercises and permanent form of dog body covered by natural coat. The groomer, squared version of the same dog, style, like different. You really need to get a book to be able to read the details. And the picture seven variations of ears among the dog breeds. Like I said, this is something that you need to get a book to look at it more carefully. Uh, variation of ear uh, shapes among uh, dog uh, breeds. So back to the story. Let me just grab a uh, when grooming in the inner space of the ear canals has to be cleaned. The groomer should not try to reach too deep inside the ear canal with Q-tips. 
that is the doctor's duty and responsibility, as well as treating um, po uh, possible infections, irritations, and other medical conditions. But visible, uh, as well as treating possible infections, uh, uh, and, but the visible internal surface of the ear has to be cleaned well. It's proper to use special ear cleansing solution for the purpose, but even dry soft uh, ga gauze and uh, Q-tips normally ear rugs build up. During this procedure, all the hairs which often grow inside of the ear has to be removed with the help of ear uh, air powder and uh, hair pliers. The air canals always try to be clean and free uh, of air uh, for better ventilation and drying uh, well uh, ventilated air prevents a lot of problems. The hair on the external surface of the air is a subject of grooming both for hygienic and beautification purposes. For some breeds this hair has to be shaved completely or to be clean and line uh, for others to, groomers to be brush this hair and just trim a little longer uh, the edge of the air. Hair styling this hair on the uh, outer surface of the air can be produced an image of visibly longer or shorter air and may have influence on the overall appearance of the head size and shape. For instance, cockers, uh, sp uh, cockers lovers prefer their dog to have narrow base on the air but a wide edge where it can be stressed with grooming. Forehead and sc uh, scalp. During breed standard, different breed standards demand the, from the breeders to have as flat as top line of head as possible. For others, different kinds of hair cover are highly desirable. More or less hair cover can change the appearance of the dog. Hats uh, signature. So, as in this picture, you can see. Um, Dog's uh, face image depends on the hairstyle of forehead, monarch for uh, forelock, etc. Stop. Between the forehead and the muzzle, there is a line that is a subject of special attention for breeders. In some breeds, the stop has to be very curved and visible, and others it has to be almost hidden. For instance, the head of Cocker Spaniel looks nice if the stop is very noticeable. So we leave a, uh, a bit more hair on the forehead, some kind of a turf or uh, pompadour, uh, and reduce the volume of air on the muzzle. We especially reduce the hair exactly on the top, thinking uh, shares and highly helpful for the purpose. When done properly, the stop uh, becomes more obvious and empathized. For many interiors, the stop has to be uh, leveled as much as possible. So we leave the hair on the stop and shorten the hair on the forehead and muzzle. To stop this, uh, this appears almost completely. See picture 9B and B. And uh, picture 9, influence of the hair uh, style and stop appearance. Like, uh, that's the second picture here. Mm. Eyebrows. A lot of breeds have almost no visual eyebrows, but some of them, like terriers and schnauzers, need rather long hair on their browns. Uh, sometimes the standard of smooth-haired breed can be can be some prolonged hair just over the eyes in order to make them hat looks more attractive. For instance, Shih Tzu hat looks better with a long eyebrow hair fountain over their eyes.